Hi, Phil Bradbury for Little Walter Two Bands. In this installment of our video series, we're going to be talking about preamp tubes. Actually, the very first stage in your amplifier where the tone shaping uh, and actual uh, tone that you create through your amplifier is being formulated. Now, most of us uh, using contemporary amplifiers of today are very familiar with a 9-pin preamp tube. This is uh, 12AX7. There's a Y7s, AT7s, um, and, and AU7. There's, there's quite a number of 9-pin preamp tubes out there, but we'll talk about the 12AX7. It's the most popular tube, and uh, it's what is in most of the contemporary amplifiers of today. Now, what caused me to get into the amplifier business was a need for a better sounding amplifier, tone-wise. So as I did my research and I studied uh, all the masters uh, and, and read everything I could get my hands on, there was a reoccurring theme from some of the older material was that there was this inherent sweet tone and dynamic response that came from the very first preamp tubes that we had at our disposal back in the 30s and 40s when the first amps were actually designed and visualized and actually created the only preamp tube we had was an octal preamp tube, an 8 pin rather than a 9 pin like the 12AX7. This is an American made octal preamp tube. This happens to be a 6SC7. There are several different uh, American made uh, octal preamp tubes, 6SN7s, uh, 6SL7s, but the 6SC7 is what I use in all of my Series 8 amplifiers, and the Series 8 is a reference to the fact that they all use an 8-pin or octal preamp section. Now, the American-made tubes that we don't have, unfortunately, anymore, they were metal. Uh, all the preamp tubes like this were made in a metal can. We quit making tubes in America as we turned to the solid state transistor. And uh, most of our good equipment was sold off to different concerns. Most of it's probably in Russia and China at this point in time. Uh, I get all my tubes now from Russia. Uh, there are a few good tubes from China, but I try to stay with the Russian tubes. I tend to like their quality control just a little bit better. The tube that I use today in my Series 8s is still a 6SC7, but it's a modern 6SC7 that's made. They're made today, they're being made new uh, by Softec, a Russian company. And uh, this is a 6SC7, and it's the same exact tube. Uh, sounds the same, the tone is fantastic. Uh, these had wonderful tonality to them. And you can still find some of the old 6SC7 and N7s and L7s uh, through eBay and different uh, venues on the internet. The problem though, they're 40 to 60 years old and when you find a good one, it's really good and it's great. And, and I still buy some today. But you have to understand that these are older tubes and that uh, they'll simply deteriorate due just to age if nothing else. Now, what would be the main difference? In buying a new old stock American-made tube, like I say, if I buy 10 of these, six or seven will be really good tubes, and there'll be a couple that will go microphonic very quickly, and I'll have to get rid of them. Microphonic, that is a ringing, a high-pitched metallic type of ringing that comes from a, a tube when it starts failing or getting bad. and these octal preamp tubes, they do have a history of this. There's no doubt about it. But I think they get a little bit worse rap than they should uh, because uh, the tonality and the dynamic response that you can get from an octal preamp tube is well worth going through several tubes to find some good ones. Now, um, I still use today in our Series 9 amps, I still use the, the Novel or 9-pin preamp tubes. The main difference between these tubes is that this is what I would consider a high-gain tube, and this is what I would consider an octal as a low-gain tube. In other words, this octal preamp tube has a 40 to 1 multiplier of, of amplification, 
to where the 12AX7 has about a 100 to 1 multiplier uh, or, or gain increase on your system. So where this will give you really good horsepower and volume and, and, and do what you need to do on a big stage, this tube here will give you a sweet tone and a great dynamic response that is just different than what the 9-pin tubes do. So I would suggest you play both and see which one is right for you. Uh, because just like in the power tubes, when I talked about the power tubes, they're different tubes for different applications. So to review, the preamp, whether it be a Novel or 9-pin preamp tube or an octal or an 8-pin preamp tube is the first stage in your amplification process that takes your tiny signal from your instrument and starts the amplification process as it moves through the chassis. I look forward to seeing you in our next informational video installment. Thank you. Thank you.